Today we'll be covering a new game on the channel and it just so happens they're also the sponsor of today's video, Be Rising. So this game combines the best elements of survival games and action RPGs, all wrapped up in an awesome vampire story that you actually get to play out. In a nutshell, B Rising lets you awaken as a vampire in a world where you hunt for blood, build your castle, and conquer the land of the living. I mean, you're a vampire, so you're going to do vampire-y things. And one of the things I find so awesome about this game is that there are so many different ways to play it depending on your personal preference. There are three modes, it's PvE, PvP, and Duo PvP. Now for this video, I covered PvE where you're able to choose from three skills, relaxed, normal, and brutal. The descriptions are pretty self-explanatory, although I hear brutal is where you go to get one tapped, so get good. Now, this game is like if you blend kind of the crafting and building mechanics of Valheim with the insane combat of Hades, kind of creating a wildly immersive and engaging experience. So whether you're exploring the world around you, picking fights with everyone you see, or building your monster gothic castle, V Rising keeps you hooked from the very start. And what I really love about the game is how it manages to make the survival genre feel super fresh and exciting. I mean, trust me, there is nothing out there like it. I'd say the game kind of strikes a perfect balance between challenging gameplay and rewarding progression. So it makes everything I'm doing in the game feel meaningful. Plus, the visuals are just honestly amazing. It's got the perfect amount of gothic aesthetics and a soundtrack that perfectly complements the whole atmosphere of the game. I could absolutely just chill in my castle and listen to music. So in this video, we'll dive deep into the game starting from the beginning. I'll share my experience, highlight what I love about it, and then we'll switch over to the PlayStation 5 to see how the game performs on console. And spoiler alert, the DualSense controller adds an insane layer of immersion. So without further ado, Let's sink our teeth into V Rising and see what this game has to offer. So when you first jump into V Rising, you'll get to go through a pretty extensive character creation where you can customize everything on your character to make them look exactly how you want. And after that, you're immediately drawn into the game's atmospheric world where you awaken as a vampire after a centuries long slumber. And of course, you're super hungry for blood, angry about what's happened and the fact they took all your land and you're ready to reclaim your power. And as you begin your journey, you'll need to gather resources and craft basic tools for survival. The game does a super fantastic job of easing you into the mechanics with a well-designed, easy to follow tutorial that guides you through the early stages of living out your best vampire life. You'll start by crafting simple items like weapons and armor, which are essential for survival and ranking up as you venture further into the dangerous world of the rising. Now, as I mentioned before, one of the aspects about this game that I love is the balance between the exploration and combat. And in this world, you'll encounter a variety of enemies from wild animals, I mean, undead soldiers, angry townsfolk, and basically everything in between, and each requiring different strategies to defeat. I would describe the combat system as dynamic and skill-based, very reminiscent of other action RPGs, kind of like Hades. You'll definitely need to master your weapons and abilities, dodging attacks and landing skill shots in order to survive, because the reality is humans are just not ready to give their world up and so you're gonna have to take it by force. And as you set out on this quest, you'll also need to be mindful of the day and night cycle. I'm not kidding you guys. Sunlight is deadly to vampires. We all know this, every movie has taught us this. So you'll need to find yourself sticking to the shadows during the day while being able to freely roam at night. I promise you'll never forget the first time the sun scorches you and you're gonna learn real quick how important those shadows are. I think this adds such a unique layer of strategy to the game as you have to plan your activities around the changing light. Overall, the early game experience in V Rising is super fun and engaging and it really does set the stage for the deeper mechanics that you're gonna encounter as you progress through. The combination of resource gathering, crafting, and combat creates an addictive gameplay loop that I think we'll keep you guys coming back. 
So after spending plenty of time in V-Rising on PC, oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, oh, I was excited to see how the game translated to the PlayStation 5. Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. I can definitely say the DualSense controller adds like an entire new layer of immersion that really enhances the gameplay experience. First off, the game looks absolutely stunning on the PlayStation 5. The visuals are crisp and detailed. The gothic art style that I love so, so much really does pop on the big screen. The performance is smooth, and I personally didn't notice any significant frame drops or lag, even during intense combat scenes. So one of the cool new standout features of playing V Rising on the PlayStation 5 is the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers of the DualSense controller. I mean, essentially, these features make combat feel even more like visceral and satisfying. You know, like you feel it. So when you're swinging a weapon or casting a spell, you can feel the tension and impact through the triggers. I know it sounds crazy, but that's how it is. And it adds this whole new dimension to the gameplay, none of which you can get with a mouse and keyboard. And I've got to say, playing the game with a controller came pretty naturally and was what I would describe as pleasantly intuitive. It was great. I mean, the developers at Stunlock Studios did a fantastic job optimizing the controls for the console, making it easy to manage your inventory, build your castles, engage in combat, all without feeling clunky or cumbersome. The button mapping feels super natural, and after a short amount of time, I found myself playing just as fluidly as I did on PC. I specifically found building your castle on the PlayStation 5 to be a super smooth experience, which made me personally happy because I am not the best builder, you guys. But the precision of placing structures and just organizing your space in general and the overall experience is just as enjoyable as it is on PC. Maybe even more, honestly, because let's get real. Lounging back on the couch while crafting and constructing your Gothic Fortress is a nice change of pace. So in terms of gameplay, everything that makes V Rising great on PC is present on the PlayStation 5. The same depth of mechanics, the engaging combat, even immersive world, everything is here with the added benefit of enhanced console features. So to close out my controller experience, I can safely say that V Rising on the PlayStation 5 is a fantastic way to enjoy the game, whether you're a returning player or you're brand new to the vampire world. The DualSense controller, optimized performance, and just honestly beautiful visuals make it a standout version that holds its own against the PC. Another thing I think the game also excels at is its base building mechanics. I say this because constructing your gothic castle is not only one of the most visually rewarding things I've ever seen in a game, but also strategically important. So as you expand and upgrade your base, you unlock new crafting stations, defensive structures, and decorations that basically enhance your gameplay, giving you the ability to build multiple floors, gardens, and create some crazy intricate layouts, all adding a layer of creativity that I thought was pretty awesome. Another aspect of V-Rising is the blood system, which adds a really unique twist to the survival mechanics. Given the title of this game and the fact its main character is a vampire, I feel like this is pretty on point. Managing your blood levels and feeding on different creatures to gain various buffs introduces a strategic element that keeps you on your toes, you guys. Now, let's talk about the exciting new addition to the game, the Legacy of Castlevania DLC. This expansion brings even more content to be rising with more weapons, enemies, and areas to explore all inspired by the classic Castlevania series. So if you love gothic aesthetic and intense combat of V Rising, and you're just a huge Castlevania fan, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out that downloadable content. It's already available on the PlayStation 5, so you can just dive right into the new content without waiting. To sum it all up, V Rising is a must play for fans of survival games, action RPGs, or even just vampires. Its blend of atmospheric world building, engaging combat, and deep customization makes it a standout in the title genre. And with the new 1.0 update, which included a new zone, Mortium, dynamic events, some new bosses and enemies, choose your difficulty, that's the new brutal mode, world improvements, new weapons and magic. I mean, there's just never been a better time to check it out. So whether you're playing on PC or the PlayStation 5, you're in for the most epic vampire adventure of your life. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to check out V Rising on Steam or the new PlayStation 5 release. The game's available right now, and the Legacy of Castlevania DLC adds even more content to sink your teeth into. Don't forget to use the link in the description to check out the game and support the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.